Hey, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Um, as you can see, this bike here needs new grips. Um, you may have seen a previous video I posted, which uh, is change grips the easy way, where I use compressed air to, um, you know, you blow it in here, it inflates the grip, and you can easily take it on and off. Um, I had a few subscribers say, hey, I don't have compressed air, how would you do it? Uh, well, you can use a utility knife, and you can just slice it off, um, or you can just peel it off. Let's see if it'll... Yeah, so you can just peel it back like that, and you can see this grip is shot, so it just comes right off. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be putting on new grips uh, with grip glue and some safety wire. So we'll run through on how to do that. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to take some carb clean or brake clean, and I'm going to... Just make sure that's that's clean. Now these grips, I'm using half waffled Scott grips. Uh, there's an arrow here that says front, so you're going to want to point the arrow to the front. And I'm using. Scott Grip Glue. Uh, this is the first time I've used it. I have no idea how it's going to work, but uh, basically I just wanted a little tube just for this job, and it was a buck or two. Um, so I'm going to squeeze it in the hole and massage it all over the place. Alright, so I'm just working the glue around like this. Um, I forgot to pick up a few acid brushes. I was just going to take an acid brush and really get a nice thin layer in there. Alright, so... The grip glue acts like a lubricant. So make sure you got your grips all lined up how you want it. Make sure it's all the way on. Get rid of the gloves because uh, I just didn't want to get any of that glue on me. Alright, time to safety wire the grips on. Uh, these grips come with two grooves one here and one here for wire. I'm also going to add a third one here because sometimes if I fall and tear the grip, water, mud get under here, and it's always this section that'll get loose. So I'm going to also put one right there. So one, two, and three. And also, as you can see, when you, when you grab when you grab the uh, grip, you're probably going to want the the ends to be right about here, or the you know the twisties. So probably at the four, five o'clock position. All right. So I don't have safety wire pliers, so I'm just going to do this uh, the hard way, I guess. But I got three pieces of wire here, about ten inches long. All right. So let's start in the middle. What you're going to want to do is go around twice. So here's one loop, there's two, and just twist the wires like this. Just get one, one twist going. Make sure you're in the groove. Everything looks good. Alright, grab it with your linesman pliers. Okay, give it a little tug to get it nice and tight, and then just start twisting.
All right, so everything looks good. I got it back in the groove. You can see it's starting to recess under the grip. And you don't want to go too tight because you'll cut it. All right, so that looks plenty tight. What you want to do is, uh, I already poked myself, so don't careful not to poke yourself. Start bleeding all over the place. All right, so I'm going to cut it to where there's about three twisties. All right. And I'm just going to take my diagonal cutters, push this to the side. I'm just going to push it into the grip. Basically just run my finger over it. And you can't feel it and you won't get pricked or poked. Alright, let's do this guy now. All right, with these, I just push it right into this uh, this portion here. Just like that. All right, last but not least, do it about a quarter inch or so from the end of the bar. The end of the bar, not the end of the grip. So feel around for the for the end of the grip there. That's it. Alright, so that's it for this video. It's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Please leave a comment. Um, I'll have a ton of videos on this bike, which is an 01 KX250. Thanks for watching.